and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today I have a DIY. I don't remember when the last time was I did a DIY here on my channel. I used to do quite a few of them and then I just completely stopped. So today I'm going to do a Dollar Tree DIY. I have done a few other wreaths here on my channel but this one is going to be a little different. I usually always do my wreaths like with flowers and this time I am not. I'm going to be using some reindeer moss and I want this wreath to go in my living room. It's just like a mini wreath. I need a new wreath for in front of that little mirror that I made. It was um, a dupe for Pottery Barn, I believe, that I made. I'll link that down below. I also made that mirror out of everything from Dollar Tree, all supplies from Dollar Tree. So today is going to be a DIY. I hope you guys enjoy it. There's a few of the DIYs that I would like to do. So comment down below if you guys would like to bring back my DIYs. I'm just not sure if you guys really enjoy it. I know mostly like my cleaning videos and also my try and hauls, that's what gets the most attention. So that's what I've been trying to focus on. But if you guys enjoy my DIYs, then I'll definitely bring them back because I love them. So enough of me rambling on let's get into this dollar tree diy all right guys so i usually like to show you guys all of the supplies that you're going to need for whatever diy i'm doing but for some reason this time around i just completely forgot to film that part so basically you're just going to need any little wreath from dollar tree other than the wire ones it would be hard to glue this to the wire wreath but you can do the foam one or this wooden one that i have and you're just going to also need i believe i used three bags of this reindeer moss i'm pretty sure i mentioned it at the end of the video but pretty sure it was about three bags of this moss and then a hot glue gun and hot glue sticks everything was purchased from dollar tree other than my hot glue gun and hot glue sticks and i'm just going to go around the entire wreath adding a little bit of hot glue at a time and then getting some of the reindeer moss and applying it in that section and i'm just going to complete this process all the way around and then i will fill in any gaps or spaces that i would like to fill in a little more with the reindeer moss And also keep in mind that this is a very messy DIY, so you will have reindeer moss everywhere. This was on the floor, all over my dining room table. Next time, I think I might do this outside or even just put something underneath so it'll be an easier cleanup. All right, you guys, so I am now done with my wreath. I just did like a really quick, simple DIY. I didn't add anything to the wreath other than the moss. I am gonna insert a picture of the one I made my sister because I did add a few things to her wreath. So I'll show you guys hers. I'll insert a picture. Let me know if you guys think I should add a few things to mine like I did to my sister's, but I thought I would just go simple. I'm gonna hang it up in my living room. I will show a picture of how I hang it up in my living room, but this is the end results of how it looks. It, I think it looks really cute. Like I said, this is um, everything I purchased from Dollar Tree. So I bought the moss from Dollar Tree. The only thing I didn't buy was 
the hot glue gun and hot glue sticks obviously i did not buy from dollar tree but everything else don't touch it it's hot um everything else is purchased from dollar tree and i already had everything on hand so this cost me pretty much nothing um but if i did have to go out and buy everything i did use two and a half bags of moss so i used two bags oh that's a ziplock bag I used these two bags and then I used half of this bag. So this takes two and a half bags of moss and then one wreath. So $3 for the moss, $1 for the wreath. So that's $4. So yeah, it cost me $4 to make the wreath. Um, maybe eventually I'll go in and add little things to the wreath. Maybe some um, florals or something or stuff like this. What is this? I don't even know what this is called, but maybe I'll add stuff like this and like glue it on eventually. Um, those, these are little, these are flowers. Flowers, okay. Um, so maybe eventually, but for now, I just want something simple. So I will put this up in my living room and show you guys how it looks. So that is going to end my Dollar Tree DIY. I hope you guys Wait, enjoyed. Wait, I want to show him that my DIY too. Oh, okay. He's going to show you his DIY really quickly. Be careful with this. I don't want you to trip over this. He made a DIY as well while I was doing mine. He bought some pom-poms from Dollar Tree and some stickers. So, I'll hold it up for you. And I bought a toy snake. Yeah. So this that, is Ryan's DIY. I have pom-poms and stickers. That's cool. I think everyone's gonna love it. It still has to dry. So that's Ryan's. All right guys, so now that is officially going to end my Dollar Tree DIY. If you guys enjoyed today's video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. I would really love to have you be a part of my YouTube family and also turn on your notification bell so anytime I do upload a new video, you'll be notified that I have uploaded a new video. My upload schedule is Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but I do upload um, some bonus videos like today. Today is just a bonus video of my DIY. So just make sure your notification bell is on. So anytime I upload a bonus video or my Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads, you will be notified. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video and we will see you guys next time. Can you say bye? Bye. All right, guys. So this is where I wanted to place this wreath. I always change out this wreath depending on the season or holiday. So around Christmas time, I will have a more Christmassy wreath, fall time, Halloween, stuff like that. So now that it is summer, I just wanted something just simple, but something that I also really liked and thought it was cute. So I thought it went perfect in front of this mirror.